please be advised that the notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act have been complied with and satisfied in that the annual notice which gave sufficient notice of the time, place, and conduct of all public meetings of the New Brunswick Parking Authority has been filed with the City Clerk, has been placed on an appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and has been transmitted to the official newspaper for the City of New Brunswick, namely the Home News and Tribune, as per the annual notice provided in a resolution adopted by this governing body on December 29, 1975. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Um, today's agenda, we have minutes from the January 2017 reorganization meeting. These were uh, distributed to everyone for comments and or approval. And look for a motion if there's a motion. Thank you. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, there's also minutes from the regular February board meeting, uh, which were also previously distributed. Any comments or otherwise would someone offer a motion? Thank you. And looking for a second. Second. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll approve the minutes from the prior meetings. Um, Executive Director's report, Mitch. Thanks, Bill. All right, uh, first we mailed out notices to the residents uh, concerning the new uh, residential permit parking program. Uh, we've been receiving a lot of positive feedback from residents. Uh, a lot of them are looking forward to the new system so they don't have to come into the office to collect their permits. Uh, we have, we have uh, heard some concerns by the uh, elder residents that are, are in New Brunswick, so we reassured them they could still come to our office and we'll help them uh, do any of the uh, computer work that needs to be done to make applications yeah. for So, you know, that put them, put them at ease. Uh, last Tuesday, we had the uh, quite a large sleet storm or snowstorm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <coughs> we opened our garages to residents for snow parking, and we had probably an all time record, we had 127 vehicles use our facilities. So um, we try to get the word out as early as possible uh, to inform the residents you know, they should get their cars off the street uh, during the snowstorm. And Mitch, in terms of removing the vehicles, is it a 24 hour after the snow stops? Or yeah, I, ideally what we usually do, it's by 8 a.m. the following day. Uh, but it really, it really depends on weather conditions, conditions you know, mm -hmm. and how much snow we had and the snow removal. Uh, so there's, there's some things that go into it as far as, uh, yeah, we don't really, we don't really use a drop dead time. Gotcha. But that's know, we're pretty flexible, so you know, yeah. We're trying to get the vehicles out. That's right. Yeah, um, so yeah, as, as you're probably all aware, the uh, demolition of the Ferry Mall is complete. Uh, now it's just a matter of cleanup operation over there. Uh, it's pretty bare. It's pretty wild. You can see uh, Patterson Street from Albany Street now. You know. uh, Ludley Plaza lot had closed uh, sometime in February. I don't have the exact date, but it was closed for approximately six weeks while the demolition of the bridge from the Wolfson deck to the uh, Ludley Plaza building went on. Uh, we had to keep that lot cleared, but it, it has been open as of uh, last week. So people are using that again. Uh, and finally, looking forward now that spring, even though you can't tell by the weather out there, spring is here. We start working on our restoration plans for this year at the facilities. Uh, we have a budget of approximately uh, half a million dollars to do restoration work at all our facilities. Uh, so we're looking to put out uh, bids, advertise the bids on March 31st. Plan is that the bids will be due on May 2nd, and we're hoping to begin work on the week of May 22nd. So that's the tentative schedule right now as far as the restoration work. And that is all I have. Okay, thank you. Okay, committee reports. Uh, right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, the February financial statement was mailed out to the board members, uh, emailed to everybody. Uh, the audit is completed for 2016. Uh, we hope to have the exit conference around the second or third week of April. Um, we hope we'll get the information uh, regarding the pension by then. That's coming from the state, state. and then you can finish the audit. Very good. 
Okay. Uh, any other questions uh, as regards to financials that were distributed? Very good. Anything else? All right, thank you. Okay. Um, legal? Mr. Do you anything to report? No legal to you, whether report. Brings us to public comment. Mr. Crowderville, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, <coughs> Charles Crowderville, New Brunswick, New Brunswick Today. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, hearing me out. I, do have a couple of questions I want to ask about the uh, impact of the changes to the urban enterprise zone program on the parking authority. I believe the parking authority is involved with that in some way, and I know that the governor has uh, cut cut down on the. Well, the yeah, it was a couple years it, ago. It doesn't it doesn't affect us directly. Uh, I know the city was using UEZ funds for the uh, uh, street sweeping of the UEZ area. Uh, that that's the only impact that kind of indirectly affected us, but somehow they, uh, they, they they're finding other funds to use for the street sweeping. Okay, so the same areas are still being cleaned. Yeah, everything. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed with that. Okay. Um, let's see, I wanted to ask about. Uh, so there was the uh, uh, you know the thefts back in uh, I guess 2010 was when those charges were filed, and I guess the the chairman. Uh, what was done after that and now there's the uh, I guess significantly more minor thefts on the part of the, the former valets and I believe that case is now uh, adjudicated it's been uh, resolved with a plea deal I just want to ask if there's any changes the authority is making as a result of that matter um, to improve the uh, uh, you know the, the way the authority handles cash and none that I'm aware of which do you have I mean, as far as that is that the last incident that was basically you know we we are the people who uh, found out that they were doing that so we, we were self-monitoring ourselves uh, so you know you know other than making sure we you know they have close supervision as far as the valley and the O's I mean uh, we've already implemented a lot of the changes as you mentioned before in 2010 uh, we feel that they're very tight and uh, you know we'll just keep improving as much as we can you know to make make it as tight as possible <coughs> the, the controls that are in place are, are functioning and, and we do review them on a regular basis sure. yep and, and the wilson deck is coming down and you, you guys still do valet though right not that not at the garage we do valet yes right right yeah. the same restaurant we do at the ho hotel and at the restaurants gotcha thank you um i, I do want to ask can you tell me uh what happened to a the former employee Thomas Ulmer? Is it, is it true that he uh, was asked to resign uh, over some similar thefts? Uh, it's a personnel matter. I'm not aware. Of it. I, I will. I would have to find out. Okay. So what, what did Mr. Ulmer do? Ulmer do for the, uh, sorry, I don't remember him. To be honest with you, I don't the name's not ringing ring the bell. I have to look into it. I mean, yeah. we have 150 you, employees. I do don't you know what position he has? I mean, you're I, no, 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 I don't believe know who he is. I believe he departed a couple years back. No, but do you know what he did for? I don't. That's why I asked. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I don't offhand. Maybe I even maybe I'm incorrect. But uh, were there any other uh, incidents of theft uh, besides the ones that led to criminal prosecutions since 2010? Uh, again, without a specific reference, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to confirm things that I've heard from people. Uh, I, I do want to ask: the uh, authority <coughs> has commercial plates on all the vehicles, uh, as far as every vehicle yes. I've seen. Parking authority has. I'm curious why? Why commercial plates? Uh, I see. You know, board, the board of Ed has municipal government plates. DMV insists we get commercial plates. They don't. They don't allow us to have municipal plates. That's the only reason. You got to ask them. Okay. Fair enough. And uh, I guess of the people who work for the authority, how many different unions uh, represent them? Is it just one, one union? And uh, most of the employees are union? No. No, most are not. Well, well, you have maintenance and custodial are represented by unions, which is approximately how many people go? The union Total. has a, probably 12 or 15 people, right? 12 now. to 15. 12 to 15 maintenance and custodial, and they all have a union. Can you tell me what the name of the union is? It's the Teamsters. Teamsters. Okay. It's Teamsters. AFL, CIO. Okay. And do they have a um, contract in place currently? No, we're still negotiating a contract. Okay. How long have they been without a contract? Two years. 
two years. Okay. Um, had, how's the negotiations going? Is it uh, close to being? We hope so. Yeah. Okay. Who, who handles the negotiations? To yourself? Uh, Harry Delgado. Oh, okay. And he, what's his position? Director of Operations. Director of Operations, okay. Um, <coughs> and I noticed on your agenda today you're going to be uh, purchasing some property. That's the uh, closed Wells Fargo drive through uh, Can I just ask what the purchase price is and, and who, who you're buying it from? Well, the purchase, we're, we're looking, as the resolution will state, we're looking to offer uh, $1.8 million wow. for, for the property. They're asking 1.9. So. I got you. Was there an appraisal done? Yes. Okay. And what, and the I appraisal said 1.8. Yeah. Okay. Um, would I be able to get a copy of the appraisal? Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, hearing me out. You're welcome. Okay. Anyone else? Gentlemen? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there any board discussion this afternoon? Anyone? Move on to resolutions. We have to have two. I know we have some. Payment resolutions to be signed, Mitch? Yeah, payment and resolution, which is the resolution that's going around somewhere. And I did not get signed yeah. up. Yeah. Thank you. I will do that. And the second one being the resolution authorizing the acquisition of property located at Block 18, Lot 1901, being the parcel that Mr. Crowderville just questioned. Yeah, it was the uh, Wells Fargo <coughs> drive through bank, uh, which they have closed. Uh, the address is 150 Church Street. Uh, as I mentioned to Mr. Craddleville, it was appraised at $1.8 million. Uh, we're looking to offer $1,800,000 $1, um, they, they have it up for sale. Uh, their asking price is $1.9 million. Okay, and so our resolution today is authorizing the uh, negotiation. Right. negotiation. Right. To offer to put in an offer for the 1.8 million. Got it. Okay. Any questions from our board? Okay. Otherwise, uh, we'll offer a motion to accept. Thank you. Thank you. In a second. And all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay. That's the extent of our resolution today. Old business, the pedestrian bridge. Is that nothing to report? No new it's in. Uh, New Jersey Transit's hands right now as far as approval of, of some plans, schematic plans. That's Very it. Good. I mean, it's just a long, slow process. And part of that is them extending the platform to match up with right. the uh, The two shall meet. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, new business? I have this afternoon, No new closed session. Do we have anything today? I have nothing for closed. Nothing. Okay. Um, all right. Very good. We'll come back in open session. Any other comments? Otherwise, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. Adjourn. Thank you.